I can walk over to the craftsmanship. I kind of have a little station set up here because today we want to really highlight the product. Okay, so I picked some of the uh, silhouette that's really new and very exciting from the spring collection. So we have the beat shoulder with rivets. Uh, this is the saddle. Okay. This pillow uh, tabby bag. It's also very interesting and it's very... Um, <sighs> It's very comfortable to wear and to feel. Okay. This is the green color. Oddly enough, I really like this green color. It's very vibrant and um, it matches very nicely with the, the gold hardware. So we'll look, take a look at this bag um, later. Now, this is the Fioto Maritza. So this one this is the sample one so you can do the digital printing there's also you can do the souvenir pins of, of course and the t-rows so a lot of uh, coach create options for this bag um, and it's really lightweight because it's mostly coated canvas with the leather trim so even if we, you after you add all the elements on it um, it doesn't add too much weight to it but digital printing might be something that you can consider. Um, we have more options here. And then you can even, I think for the Lunar New Year, you can even choose to have the uh, ox printed on the bag as well. So maybe we'll take a look at that as well later on. Hello, more people joining. All right. Okay. And then not only for women, we also have some men uh men's newness as well um we have the uh, league collection um and also the uh charter so we'll take a look at those as well a new belt bag silhouette it's very similar to the riventon but more simplified and then the logo it's kind of redesigned a little bit um so a little bit of vintage and a little bit of contemporary mixed together and then this is uh and a lot of um, slg option as well okay so sorry it's um just gonna do it over at my workstation today flip it over. which one do you want to see first maybe we'll start with the this one okay so the beat saddle this color, huh, the lightning here is not very good, but this is, um, I really like this color. It feels very, um, what's the right word? It feels very sophisticated. It's classic, sophisticated. I really like this detail around here. Uh, the binding really uh, adds a richness to it. And then it's like a classic, simple saddle silhouette. Uh, but with all the detail added, it just kind of makes this bag uh, richer, more sophisticated. I have my apron on, so it might look a little odd. Uh, maybe Ben can here. Oh, I'll try it on for try you. Try it on. Yes. Let me try this on for you. Help me, Yowie. Help me. There, there we you go. go. So this is. Uh, you can go shorter with the strap. This is kind of, I think this is the longest as it goes. Um, but you can see it has the typical uh, two compartments, the front and the back, very similar to the 1941 saddlebag that we have. And also it has a uh, added back pocket for easy access. Okay. Let's see if it fits my phone. It fit perfectly. It should fit your phone. It fits my phone, yeah. iPhone 11. So Actually, on the Coach website now, there is a function that says see the bag size and you can actually select different devices that you want to see if they fit into the bag. I thought that was really cool. Um, so we have the seat lock. Uh, it's actually like seat. this. <laughs> yeah. You see? You see but you they see. turn it uh, kind of, what, not upside down, but like 45 degrees. Yep. 
Oh, and you can brush up on my coach knowledge on this part. I did read about there's a there's a definition on this part. Maybe Kathleen will remember. I forgot it's what called this the bomb bomb binding or something. Bomb binding, yeah. So I really like this detail. It just adds this sophisticated look yeah. to it. Yeah, you look from the sides a little bit, and it has a nice burnish too. So I really like this one. This color is very unique. I also really like the white one. So both of those colors no, and the black. No, we haven't got the fabric strap yet, Cindy. I know what you're talking about. A few people asked us about the fabric strap for this one. We have not got it in yet. Yeah, the fabric strap is a little bit wider and shorter. So it will add to kind of elevate the whole look a little bit more. Right now, it seems a little bit more on the casual side, even with all the, the details added. Um, but. I think it also looks really good on a uh, thigh, not just uh, it's yeah, not a shoulder, right? Yeah, we wear a Yeah. I wear it as a crossbody, not off shoulder. Not a shoulder bag. Yeah. I think in the campaign photo, Jennifer Lopez wear it as uh, just over their shoulder, not as a crossbody. Aww. It's like Sal 23 and <laughs> the beat <feedback>, bag. <laughs> That's right, yeah, nicely That's put. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is, and then we have the hang tag here that you can personalize as well. The strap is removable, so you can change it up. So that's the beat saddle. Now let's talk about a little bit of the beat bag. Okay. So this is, uh, I think this size is the same size as the Basquia beat bag that we have. And the white one is super popular. It's completely sold out. We still have some of the uh, uh, the other uh, grayish color left. But this one is a new one because it has the added rivets all around. So it's more, uh, give you an edgier look. Uh, even on the strap, you will see the same rivet pattern all around and back. Um, I think we have like, remember the park Parker 18 with the rivets, that's very popular. So this is definitely, um, for those who like the rivet look, this would be something that you can um, keep an eye on. It comes in also the black one as well. Can you show the natural color? Caroline, do you want to see which bag of the natural color? Do you mean the, the saddle bag in the natural color? Or this one, I don't think this one we have. Ben, can you grab the uh, the caramel color of the saddle? Yes. Okay, while he does that, let's take a look at the inside. So with the beat, this is one of the, I think a really nice feature of the, on the beat bag. Um, the closure feels very secure because you have to, you can hear it. It actually, you push it in and it kind of lock the bag, okay? And uh, this one comes with three straps. They're all removable. You have the chain, and then you have the short uh, leather strap, and then you have a long strap inside as well for you to do crossbody. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's this type of uh, adjustment. So you have to really push it in and it will lock it in place. So for some of you who might feel the doglish type of strap is a little bit um, not as secure, you can consider this bag. This is definitely very secure. Once you put it on, it's not coming off. Okay. And the inside compartment, you have a zipper compartment. You have uh, the inner pocket with the push button as well. And then like this, okay. And then now I think I feel like almost all the bag has this uh, back pocket for easy access, so you can put your like uh, transit cards or uh, your keys or whatever. Okay, so this is the beat bag, and I like the wrap around detail on the side here. Um, it's a very well designed and thought out bag. This is what the button looks like. Caroline, this is uh, the natural color you're talking about. It's actually um, kind of more on the yellow side. So different from the, uh, the saddle, we had like the 1941 saddle color. This is, compared to that, it's like more yellow. You can see kind of against my apron. My apron is the 1941 saddle color. 
and this is on the yellower side, okay? But it has the nice burnish around, so it gives you that natural leather look. Um, the hardware is uh, black copper, okay? So it kind of may, you know, mirror nicely with the darker burnish here on the edge. This one is also a very popular color. Uh, Samsung S10e. Oh, that might be a little bit challenging, Maritza. But well, maybe we can take a look later. Yeah, so Caroline, if you're thinking about this, definitely keep an eye. Um, I'll talk a little bit on the price point as well. I think this bag is 550 Canadian. I think it's a very uh, good, uh, valuable price point to invest a bag like this. For the size and the design and the style. Um, so definitely, if you're thinking about getting a new bag for the new year, this would be a nice choice. Move on to pillow, not pillow, tabby, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> tabby. This is, uh, Tabby has been one of the uh, top seller last year. Um, we have introduced different type. We have the top handle in various sizes. Um, so this is one of the newness that they introduced for the new collection. And it's, uh, it's like a pillow, literally like a pillow. Look at the hang tag. <laughs> it's very soft. Actually, I think there is like, hard cardboard inside but it's very puffy okay so you can see uh, the coach logo the other side is plain unfortunately i don't think we can monogram this because it's like puffy uh, on the side you can see the uh, softness and the puffiness of it this is the bottom the back doesn't it doesn't have the back pocket but even the sea lock is uh, made with leather, okay? So a lot of uh, nice craftsmanship go into it. And then let's take a look at the inside. Okay. So the inside, the whole thing is lined with leather, okay? This is leather. Uh, all throughout you have the zipper compartment what is the this the zipper compartment is lined with fabric but everything else is all leather okay it just feels really comfortable to hold it um, let's put this back inside I think this is one of the bag where I will carry it like this Maybe not so much with the crossbody, but just kind of carry it like this. Hold it like a pillow. I like it quite a bit. And this green, normally I would think it's hard to match with this green with your, you know, with any color, but it's actually, I think, uh, if you have a lot of neutral color or darker, either neutral or lighter color, darker color, it will go nicely with this. This is like a pop of, um, a pop of color. Just added a little bit of uh, a focal point to your style because uh, it's very unique. The short strap as well, you will see the same puffiness is repeated here. Okay. So instead of, I don't think the drop length is kind of awkward if you want to wear it like this. So I really think this bag, the best is to just hold it like that. Different way to style the bag, yes. It looks spacious. I, th I think because it's really soft, so it's really stretchy. Whereas the typical tabby is very structured, so it feels like you don't have as much flexibility in the space. Um, I have a tabby here. This one, this is one of the new color for those of you who likes the signature. 
So a lot of the warm and lighter, brighter color for the spring is here already. Yeah, so very similar um, compartment design. You actually get this, an extra front pocket here. But yeah, like what Marisa is saying, it's not, it doesn't feel like, it's not very stretchy. It's very structured. Uh, it's definitely a different look. Whereas this one, you feel like you can really stretch the bag um, and just very soft, okay? So this is definitely a statement piece um, bag, but um, just kind of have fun with your style, you know? Um, but it's still keep it, it's still very classic. So if you're still going for that uh, formal look, it doesn't lose that. It's playful, but also classy at the same time. Okay. Now with these bags, um, another way to kind of make it more unique as your own bag is that you can customize it with different uh, different coach create elements so i'm just gonna show you quickly what we have in the store turn the camera around Oops. <laughs> sorry so we still have this some patches here now for the pillow i don't Thing we can punch any holes just because it's uh, the top layer and the bottom layer of leather won't line up properly because of the puffiness but if you wanted to maybe um, put use the patch to kind of create something more fun or interesting you could definitely do that and it becomes like a different bag Hello, Amber. How are you? Okay. Something like that. Okay. So for pillow, that's one option. We have a pink pillow as well. So that color is definitely more playful. If you want to do some patches, design on it, it's definitely uh, make it more, even more unique. Yes, here, Amber. Amber is here. Hi, Amber. hi, this is Ben saying hi. Uh, for the beat shorter, I think we can maybe do the classic T Rose design. Um, the ones I pick is. Oh, let me see here. I think it would be nice to have like uh, using the exotic flower. Because, because of the rivets. And then where is my other pen? We can do something like that. We can change up the button a little bit. This is a better view. Okay. Or you can do the smaller like this and that just makes it a little bit different from everyone else's uh, peak shoulder bag okay so with different color bag we have different color of tea roses that you can uh, play around with I'm actually going to do a another live on the customization because a customer sent in her dinky bag and uh, so I thought I would just maybe share the process on um, here as well. So maybe sometime next week, uh, I'll be doing a pair reverse customization on a dinky bag. Okay. And um, so even for the, getting a little messy here, sorry. With this classic uh, saddle bag, I think the saddlebag for when we first launched the Coach Create, saddlebag is a popular silhouette with um, the souvenir pins. So if you want to keep it kind of simple, we have these um, silver finish ones, or we have different color ones that you can kind of make it more fun. Okay. So different ways to style the bag and makes it 
more uh, unique uh, for your personal style. All right, and then going back to the field tote, you also have the digital printing option. You can do your initials here. Uh, all the letters comes in the design that has two-tone color. You can pair it with a motif or you can just kind of have your own initial on the back. Or you can do the stripe. The stripe is a new design. I think they're all the same cost. Um, but this is something that we don't do in the store. We have to do a back order for you. But if you're interested in this, you can also get in touch and we'll walk you through the process. Okay. I'm going to clean up my table a little bit and then we will take a look at the men's bag there. Okay. So maybe we'll start with the SOG. This is um, This is part of the, uh, hmm, I'm not sure if this might be Charter or League. Maybe Kathleen can help me out. Uh, but I like, this is a new uh, small leather goods from Men's. You probably have seen the bigger size one from before. Um, but I just like how this time they added, you will see a lot of this uh, mesh uh, material added inside the compartment to create more space. Because I think before it was fabric, so it's not very, it doesn't stretch out like this. It, the most you can open is about this much. Um, and then you can't, it's hard to see what you put in here. With the mesh material, whatever you put in here, you can actually, it's very uh, visible. So it makes it easier for you to find your items. And of course you have the car compartment here. And then you can fully open this up, okay? But at the same time, it has, it's secure. It doesn't fall out, right? Um, and then the other compartment is just one big open space, okay? Mm -hmm. So this, I think this will be really great as a, like a tech organizer. Like for me, I carry a lot of, um, sometimes I have to carry a lot of gear for my uh, cameras. This will be great because it's not that big. It's actually quite small. Um, compared to the belt bag. So it doesn't feel too bulky. I can either just throw it into my tote bag or I can wear it as a crossbody. I can shorten the strap a little bit. And it also comes with all the men's strap now, almost all of them comes with like this extra D-ring where you can add a little tech pouch like this. For something like more, maybe like your uh, AirPod, something that you need to have a quick access to, or your sanitizer, or even your, your extra mask that you fold it up and put it in here. And yeah, so there's like different options you can like mix match. Uh, this one actually comes with the charter crossbody that we'll look at it later. Um, but if you have multiple ones, you can definitely mix up your style a little bit. Charter. This one, right, Maria? This is the part of the Charter collection. And I like, I like the uh, embossed detail. Like Marisa said, it doesn't feel like it's a tech pouch. It feels kind of like something that you can wear it out. Uh, very stylish. Okay. Um, this is the leak backpack. Ben just reminded me that I need to move along because it's four o'clock already. Uh, a new backpack that kind of replaced the previous ribbon tent. I just want to quickly show you. It's a very compact, very lightweight, and a very structured backpack. Okay. Uh, a lot of padding even on the shorter strap. And then as we were talking about the vintage style of binding, you can see here, instead of the typical edge stain binding, uh, this time the spring collection, you will see a lot of these uh, 
wraparound binding, which is, it will last longer because uh, a lot of times the edge stain will start peeling the more you use it. So this is definitely um, some of the key elements to, to look for and it's worth the investment. Okay, you can see all the details here, even on the flap. And then once you open it, it's kind of sporty look, but uh, the mix of sporty material and leather, uh, that seems to be the theme here with the spring collection. And then this is my pillow. Very spacious inside. And then, like I mentioned before, uh, the media pocket, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the media pocket is also this mesh material. So I find that in previous backpack, when you put your wallet or your phone or little things in there, it's hard to find and see what you put in there. But with the mesh material, it's just more visible, easier to see. You have this pocket for your um, iPad. Don't think it's wide enough, maybe for the 13 inch laptop but not bigger, okay? And then you have the two side pockets for maybe the thermal bottle, a water bottle, easy access. That's something that uh, I think for Riventon is something that's enclosed. So it's not really designed for water bottle, it's more for smaller things, but this, you can definitely make it for your cup holder and things like that. Or even like for me, if I need to bring a tripod, I can maybe slide it in there as well. Very um, versatile. It's a great utilitarian backpack. The front pocket is very generous as well. And then I just want to quickly talk about the logo. Uh, they kind of renewed the logo a little bit. So as you can see the font type, uh, the coach logo is more rounded has like a little bit of 70s vibe and the leather wear is uh, with the sharper edges a more modern look and but compared to like this is the typical or the uh the old logo not the old logo it's just uh, the the usual i don't i don't even know what i'm talking about <laughs> the the typical logo <laughs> yeah so you can see the font type is different uh, it says Coach and New York on the bottom, but this is the redesign. Might be just for this collection. So it's uh, keeping up with the theme of something old and something new. Backpack, the charter, and then we're almost done here. This is uh, the charter collection. So very similar to the Academy, but I would also say with all the backpack line, uh, they really kind of slim it down a little bit and then really uh, kind of take in customers' uh, suggestion to make it more lightweight so you can wear it long for a long, long period of time. Easier to travel with. Very similar uh, strap with padding and then the, uh, the binding edge here is repeated. So when you wear it, I think this just looks uh, more stylish compared to the more sporty look like the padding and or the nylon uh, backpack. So I like this design detail. It gives you a better look. And even on me, it doesn't look too bulky. It's a good size. I like this color as well. And the same like the logo design here okay open it up with this one you do have a designated spot for your laptop but I would still recommend that you use a case for your laptop because it doesn't really have that much strong padding the padding is more for your back here not so much for the compartment uh, main compartment here The, uh, it also has the media pocket. This one, if you want to bring a laptop and a 
iPad with you. You can. It has designated spot for it. Uh, the inner pocket also has the mesh material. So you can see my thumb here. So whatever you put in here, it's more visible, easier for you to find because the lining is black. So your stuff don't get lost in the bag. Uh, and then you have the front pocket. Okay. This one doesn't have the side pocket, but uh, it does give you the extra uh, laptop pocket. So it depends on what you need it for. Um, I think for me personally, the lead backpack will be more suitable for my need. But if you like it a more uh, classic backpack silhouette, the charter is also a really good choice and comes in different colorway. Um, and both of these backpacks, you can definitely add your favorite pins, patches on it to make it more fun. Something like that. And it's a different design of backpack. Okay. All right. Classic logo, yeah. I do like, I really do like the this. And it's subtle, they kind of make it embossed rather than a printed, so it's more understated, okay? Now, you have here, you can put your hang tag, but same thing, you can also add your tech pouch for something easy access. Lastly, just the charter uh, crossbody. This size of uh, crossbody is getting really popular. You see it in a lot of brands, especially like streetwear brand, but even like luxury brand who's, you know, taking a lot of uh, styling trend influence from streetwear. So we have it here. This, you can see the logo. It's very subtle, but it's still here. Uh, you can also put this on straps. So if you don't want to put the older style backpack, you can do it like this instead of using the D-ring. But this one, show you tune compartment. This is definitely for the phone. Um, it has a little bit, creates that little extra volume. Um, so it's not flat. It's actually very three-dimensional. Um, in the back, you see the logo here as well. And also features the vintage binding all around. So again, something old and something new. Okay. So there you go. I like this. This one also comes in a lot of different colors, uh, color block or just one solid color as well. Okay. All right. And then even with a small bag, you can also customize with maybe a pen. You got color, like numbers, one to zero, one to nine, zero to nine, uh, in both black and yellow. So this will be fun to make it more unique. Um, we are expecting something really exciting in uh, February. It's a collaboration. We have another collaboration coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We're taking some photo and making videos for it this week. Uh, but yeah, so until next time. It's for someone with a sporty vibe. Yes, CC. Is it a C? Hint, hint. Not okay. Chanel, so no <laughs> Chanel, don't forget to say Chanel. It's a coach with another Something brand star with C. C. And okay. it's very sporty. Yes, yes. So stay tuned for that. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, and I will see you next, next time. Bye.